Hello viewers, I'm Rohit Khurana from Intellect Digest. In this video, I'm going to give you a detailed review of the Nokia Lumia 920, which is the high-end Nokia Windows mobile phone. This runs Windows Phone 8 OS, which is the top of the line, latest operating system from Microsoft. Let me quickly show you all the important aspects of this phone, the practical aspects which matter to you as a phone buyer. Starting with size and form factor of the phone, this phone is quite handy. It has a large display of 4.5 inches, which is super HD as the Nokia claims it. This is high definition display, but the display engine renders the display quite well. The refresh rate is quite fine. And as you can see, the display is butter smooth with the rendering of graphics very, very fluid on this phone. The thickness of Lumia 920 is just under 11 millimeters. So it's quite thin, quite handy, but still it, it feels quite heavy. It is 185 grams in weight and feels really solid. The build seems very metallic and has very solid uh, kind of feel. There is Gorilla Glass 2 on this display. So the display quality is also quite good. Let me talk of the build quality. The quality of material used all over this phone is very, very premium. Let me show you around the hardware. At the front, you get a 4.5 inch display, which I just showed you. And at the bottom, there are three buttons. All three are touch buttons. This is a back button, which also doubles up as the multitasking button. So you long press it and it will show you all the applications which are running right now. Plus there is a windows button, which is uh, nothing but takes you to the home screen or the Metro UI interface. And there is a dedicated search key, yes, which it takes you to the Bing search. On the right hand side, you have three keys. The bottom one is the dedicated camera key. The middle is the power or wake up key with which you can uh, make the screen to wake up or go in sleep mode. You can also power on and power off using this button. There is a volume rocker at the top, which is used to increase or decrease the volume. On the top, you have a 3.5 mm audio jack. This is a microphone mesh. This is for second mic for noise cancellation. And what you see here is the SIM tray. To eject this SIM tray, there is a tool which comes with the phone, which is uh, something like what you get with Apple phones. When you simply press it inside, the tray will come out and the micro SIM will pop out. You need to get the SIM cut because the mini SIM or the standard size SIM does not work on this. You either have to get a small micro SIM, which works with the phones like uh, Samsung Galaxy Note 2, etc. This side is quite clean. At the bottom, you have this micro uh, USB charging port as well as data transfer port and two speaker mesh. These are for stereo output. On the rear, you have an 8 megapixel Carl Zeiss camera. This is the Nokia Pure V module, which comes with optical image stabilization. There is a dual LED flash along with it. So let me show you clearly. So this is how it looks from the rear. The one we have here is white in color. You get many color options like uh, the black, gray, red, yellow and this fifth color is white so you get the phone in very vibrant colors you can customize the color of the tile interface i like the brown color because it's quite soothing to eyes and comfortable to look at the display on the offer is quite vibrant this is 768 by 1280 pixel in display resolution with a pixel per inch density of 332 pixels per inch just to give you a heads up the Pixel per inch density on iPhone 5 is around 325. So it is slightly higher than that. So you can see the quality of display is quite cool. The sensitivity is also quite good and you have Gorilla Glass. So it is quite scratch resistant. It can be operated using a metallic object like a key. So it will sense the touch. So let me show you from sides. So this is quite interesting and also you can use it while your gloves are on. So say you are in a very cold place where you need to carry your phone outside and outdoors you are wearing gloves so you don't need to put off your gloves I'll just uh, use my handkerchief to show you a demo so right now my finger is covered with this uh, cloth and as you can see it is still able to operate the touch screen without any troubles whatsoever to show you the video playback quality on this display I'll play a video from our uh, YouTube channel I just in this video I am going to give you a quick unboxing and box content video of the Nokia Lumia 920. This is a flagship Lumia device which has been... So as you can see the video playback is quite smooth. The display is very pleasing. Also the volume output is quite good. The speaker mesh is down here and I have turned the volume to the highest level. So you can see the volume is quite ample when you want to play the music or the videos. And the supplied earphones which come with this phone are also quite good in quality. 
these are color matching earphones so if you get a yellow unit you will get yellow earphones yellow charger and yellow data cable so it's quite interesting this is uh, white in color as i have got the white unit the sound output of this unit is quite good and you get extra pair of this uh, these rubber cushions so you can adjust them according to your ear canal size talking of the music playback on nokia lumia 920 you get many features like nokia music nokia mix radio these are the online streaming services so in mix radio you get streaming from various genres which you can use like you use a normal internet radio in which you can select the kind of music that you want to listen to you have hollywood bollywood different kind of uh, services you get store in which you get millions of tracks from the nokia music store which are free for download for a period when you have the nokia music subscription with you this subscription is for a limited time and you have to renew it after once it is over one disappointment with the nokia music on the lumia 920 is that it does not offer fm radio i am a big fan of fm radio i really miss the fm radio on this although the quality of music using the earphones supplied with the nokia lumia 920 is very good one of the USPs of Lumia 920 is its camera. The PureView camera unit at the rear is 8 megapixel autofocus flash camera. This camera with Carl Zeiss Optic PureView optical image stabilization technology can take very good pictures even in low light. The PureView technology keeps a layer of redundant pixels and combines them to give a better result. So I'll quickly show you some of the pictures which I have clicked in low light conditions and I'll show you how they look like on the Lumia 920. So this is one picture which has been taken in a very poorly lit condition and there is a very small lamp which you can see towards the edge of the picture which is on in the room and I have taken this picture without flash and it is working out quite well. This is the same room but with flash so with flash it looks like as if it has been taken during the daytime but without flash even then it come out, comes out to be very good the results in the low light are really commendable when you compare it to some other phones also the optical image stabilization feature is something which is worth talking about when it comes to video when you record videos which are full high definition 1080p support the image stabilization feature works like wonders we have made a separate video for the optical image stabilization the link for the video is present in the description below also on the top left corner of the screen so you can refer to the optical image stabilization demo video there apart from this the front camera is 1.3 megapixel which you can use for skype or video conferencing this camera is also capable of 720p recording which is high definition not full high definition but still it's not bad you can do high definition video conferencing using the camera on the front the call quality and signal quality on the Nokia Lumia 920 has been quite good. I have been using it on the 3G network and the 3G reception has not been a problem so I am using the internet functionality quite a lot. Also the call functionality is quite clear and crisp. The speaker phone volume is also quite good. I will just give you a demo. Namaste from the service team at Airtel 121. So as you can hear the volume is quite clear and loud. The battery of Nokia Lumia 920 is concealed inside the unit. You cannot take it out. There is no removable flap. To insert the SIM, you have to get this SIM tray out. So, to remove the battery, it needs to be opened completely. The internal battery gives a talk time of around 10 hours as claimed by Nokia over a 3G network. But in my usage, on an overall standby as well as talk time, I have been using it moderately and it easily lasts for 2 to 3 days comfortably. So, it is quite decent when it comes to a smartphone and the battery really impresses Talking me. of the specification, Nokia Lumia 920 is powered by a 1.5 GHz Snapdragon dual core processor. This processor makes this phone work like a breeze. There is 1 GB of RAM on board. Interestingly, even the Lumia 510 which is a much lower spec phone with 800 MHz processor, 256 MB of RAM works very fluid. So I can really uh, you know, safely say that this is quite fast and quite loaded because I haven't seen any problem of performance whatsoever when it comes to using this phone it does not hang it does not give any sort of problems so it's quite a breeze when it comes to specifications it has 32 GB internal memory there is no external memory card support so you cannot increase this memory 
but this is quite ample for a normal user who can use a lot of multimedia on this phone without bothering to extend the memory. Talking of the software version, the Lumia 920 runs Windows Phone 8 OS. As you can see, the version right now running is 8.0. The precise version is 8.0.10211. This build number may vary from depending from geography to geography. So right now it is on Windows Phone 8 OS which comes packed with many functionalities which were not there in the previous OS like resizing the tiles. For example, say you use the marketplace very often. So uh, if I go to the home screen and I click on the marketplace and long press, you will see a small arrow symbol here and you can click on it to make it larger. You can reposition it wherever you like. Similarly, you can reposition other tiles. So you can make tiles larger or smaller depending on your need. You can relocate them on the Metro tile interface of the home screen of Nokia Windows Phone 8. So this is one of the interesting features of Windows Phone 8. From this, let get. me also Apart walk you through some of the features functionalities which come inbuilt with the phone. One is the Me Tile. In Me Tiles, you can add all your accounts, social media accounts like Facebook, Twitter, etc. And you can make updates to all those accounts from here only. Say I press post and update and I have connected two accounts to this so I I can select whether I want Facebook, Twitter or both. I can add many more accounts and I can just say testing Windows phone and when I press send this update goes to both Twitter as well as Facebook account which I have linked to this phone. So it's as simple as that you can also see what is new notifications who all are sharing what so all my feeds from the Facebook as well as Twitter come on same wall this is a very nice and seamless integration of social media also I have a people hub where I can see contacts so in contacts I can see uh, stuff about or updates about people and similarly I can see what is new with those people or what they are updating I can see pictures I can see stuff and you can also install standard application from the marketplace the most common are Facebook, Twitter which people use and I must say the interface on these applications is quite impressive as you can see I can very smoothly scroll through all these updates and see what is going on I can open pictures just like that it's quite easy simple fluid the interface is very very pleasing I'll also show you how Twitter looks like on this So this is the Twitter application which comes for Windows Phone 8. Here it is showing me the timeline, mention, messages, lists, etc. It's quite easy to compose uh, something. So it's a very fluid, intuitive, comfortable interface to use. Along with the Lumia 920, what else comes in the box? This is a standard USB charger which looks quite cool, round in shape. This is uh, what you get in the box. You get a uh, in the ear earphones with separate uh, set of cushions for your comfort and there is a normal to micro USB cable for charging the phone there are some warranty manuals etc and there is a small tool here for ejecting the SIM I'll quickly show you a demo so you just press it here and the SIM comes out popping just like this so this is how it works the Lumia 920 works with wireless chargers. It has an induction unit built inside it so you don't need to change the covers etc. You can buy fat boy accessories or pillow which you can plug into the wall and when you place your device onto one of these fat boy pillows it will start charging right away. So the wireless charging support is inbuilt in the Lumia 920. Lumia 920 also has near field communication or NFC built in which means that it can support various accessories just by tapping on them. There are some NFC enabled audio docks by JBL and some other providers on which you can just place this phone and it will start playing music. So this is one of the cool features which you find on Nokia Lumia 920. This is all we have for you on a detailed review of Nokia Lumia 920. Hope you like the review. Please press the like button if you like our video. For more such videos, press the subscribe button below this video. Thanks for watching. This is Rohit Khurana signing off.